Do you remember the black couple who had a white child? This is her now? You clumsy, adopted child. Look at the mess you've made. You're so careless, just like all of them. Picked up from who knows where and dumped on some ignorant family. No wonder you're so thoughtless. The woman's voice was like a knife cutting through the air as she yelled at Imachi. Poor Imachi's eyes widened in shock, her face burning with shame. She had been so happy just moments before, chatting with her dad as they walked down the grocery aisle. But now she felt like crawling under a rock and hiding. Excuse me, that's enough. Nami's father, Ben, growled, stepping between the woman and his daughter. But the woman didn't stop. She kept yelling. Imachi had been telling her dad about her school adventures, gesticulating wildly as she spoke. She hadn't noticed the woman standing in front of her, examining a shelf of canned goods. And then, disaster struck. Imachi collided with the woman's shopping cart, sending its contents tumbling to the floor. The woman's phone slipped from her grasp, landing screenside down on the hard tile. Several items she had been holding, a loaf of bread, a jar of pasta sauce, and a packet of coffee, also fell to the ground, rolling in different directions. Ben quickly apologized and rushed to assist, helping the woman gather her scattered belongings. Amachi, realizing her mistake, looked mortified. Her smile faltered before she, too, began to help pick up the items. I'm so sorry, ma'am, she said in a small voice. I wasn't looking. But the woman wasn't having it. She continued berating the child as Ben tried to intervene, but she wouldn't stop. Finally, Ben had enough. That's enough, he repeated firmly. We've apologized and we're helping you clean up the mess. There's no need for insults. He added that her comment was cruel. Imachi was his biological daughter, and she had no right to speak like that to a little girl. But the woman only scoffed. Oh, please! You expect me to believe that? She's as white as snow, and you're... Well, you're you. You could have done so much better adopting a black girl who actually shares your heritage. Ben was too shocked to respond. He felt his dignity slipping away, his sense of identity shattered. Amachi was struck by the woman's words. She felt totally embarrassed. A tear fell from her eye, and she quickly tried to wipe it away. But her father had already seen her tears. This wasn't the first time she had heard such comments but it hurt each time. When the woman saw that Ben wouldn't exchange words with her, she rolled her eyes and left. It took a few agonizing minutes before Ben recovered from the shock. He quickly pulled his daughter into his arms and told her not to let the woman's words get to her. However, he could see that his words didn't have much effect on Amachi. She hung her head low, trying as hard as possible not to cry. They finished the rest of their shopping in silence. Imachi, who had been chattering away when they walked in, was now completely quiet. Ben drove them home, but Imachi still didn't say a word. He sighed and wondered when people would learn how to treat others with respect. This wasn't the first time his daughter had been humiliated simply because she looked different. Ben and his wife, Angela Ego, were a young Nigerian couple who had left their home country in search of a better life. They had fallen in love in Nigeria and gotten married, surrounded by friends and family. But they knew their country was facing many challenges and they wanted to give their future children a brighter future. London, with its vibrant culture and opportunities, had always fascinated them. They dreamed of raising their family in this beautiful city, where they could provide a comfortable and secure life for their children. Ben and Angela were determined to work hard and make a new life in London, away from the struggles they faced in Nigeria. With big dreams and a strong love for each other, they took the bold step of moving to London. They were excited to start fresh, learn new things, and build a happy life together. Ben and Angela were each other's rock, supporting and encouraging one another through the ups and downs of their journey. When Ben and Angela first arrived in London, they faced many challenges. It wasn't easy for them to adjust to their new life. Ben struggled to find a good job, despite having an excellent education and credentials. He was offered jobs that didn't match his skills, like being a cleaner, waiter, or security guard. But Ben didn't give up. He kept searching for better opportunities, believing that his hard work and determination would eventually pay off. After many months of searching, Ben found a job as a teacher at a local school. The pay wasn't great, but it was a start. 
He was relieved to have a steady income and was proud to be working in a profession he loved. Meanwhile, Angela decided to further her education. She studied hard and passed her scholarship exams, earning a spot at a good college. She worked tirelessly to complete her degree in nursing, and after a few years, she graduated and landed a job at a hospital. Ben and Angela's hard work and perseverance were paying off. They were building a comfortable life in London, and their love for each other kept them strong during tough times. They were proud of what they had achieved and excited about the future. Once they were financially stable, they decided to start a family. Angela became pregnant with their first child, and after nine months, she gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. Their home was filled with love and laughter as they raised their sons. Ben and Angela were devoted parents, teaching their children important values like kindness, respect, and hard work. They made sure to spend quality time with their children, creating lasting memories. When Angela became pregnant with their third child, Ben was thrilled. He was hoping for a little girl this time. However, when their daughter Imachi was born, they were both shocked. She had blonde hair, blue eyes, and pale skin. Ben and Angela were black, so how did they have a white child? Despite the confusion, Ben never doubted his wife's faithfulness. He trusted her completely. The doctors ran tests to rule out conditions like albinism, but Imachi didn't have the characteristics of an albino. Genetic experts proposed a few theories. Imachi could have a one-of-a-kind gene mutation, or she could be the product of long-dormant white genes passed down by their ancestors. Regardless of the explanation, Angela and Ben considered their daughter a miracle baby. They named her Imachi, which means beauty of God, in their native language. The couple grew very protective of their daughter, knowing that some people wouldn't understand their family dynamic. They faced stares and whispers whenever they went out together. Ben overheard people making hurtful comments, but he learned to ignore them. He knew the truth, and that was all that mattered. As Imachi grew, she began to notice the stares and whispers as well. People often asked her if she was adopted. This confusion caused her to question her identity, and it wasn't long before she asked her parents for proof that she was their biological daughter. Ben and Angela, though hurt by her doubts, understood her need for reassurance. They agreed to take a DNA test. The results came back, confirming that Imachi was indeed their biological child. With this confirmation, Imachi found peace. She learned to embrace her uniqueness, holding her head high even when people questioned her background. She grew into a confident and talented young woman, excelling in both academics and the arts. Her family remained by her side, proud of the person she had become. Today, Imachi is unstoppable. She no longer lets the opinions of others define her worth. What do you think about Amachi's journey? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.